Hi, we have come to question 2. Now question 2, you are asked to solve this inequality and hence use a solution to solve for part 1 and 2. Now let's start by solving this inequality, the one in green. So you have x squared minus 2x minus 5 over x into 1 minus x minus x minus 1 over x is smaller than 0. <coughs> now, you express this as a single fraction. So you got x squared minus 2x minus 5 minus 1 plus x over x into 1 minus x is smaller than 0. And you have x squared minus x minus 6 over x into 1 minus x is smaller than 0. Now, this equation or this expression at the top at the numerator, you can factorize it. So you have x minus 3 into x minus 2 over x into x minus 1 is smaller than 0. Now, let's determine what are the critical points. Now, it has roots at 3. And my uh, 3 and... Sorry, this should be... Two. This should be, this should be plus here. All right. So now, what are the roots? The roots are three and minus two. Then the asymptote is zero and one. So you can substitute values to determine what are the sign for each of the section. So you substitute very large values here, you find that the numerator is zero, but the denominator is no the numerator is positive whereas the denominator is negative. So this portion will be a negative. Alright, then you substitute values that is in between one. 1 and 3, let's say you substitute 2, alright, and then you will find that this is positive, so on and so forth. Uh, I leave that to you. Now, then what are the possible solutions? You want it to be less than 0, so it is this region that you want, alright. So your values of x will be, x must be, smaller than 2, you have an equal sign smaller than or equals to, and x to be between 0 and 1, and x is greater than or equals to 3. Now, you have to be careful over here. If you look at the denominator, x cannot be 0 or 1. So this, this is not what we want over here. So, this one must not include the equal sign because x cannot take on the value of x and x cannot take on the value of 1 for this expression. So, this one we reject. Okay. Now, let's move on to solve part 1 of the of this portion now. So if you compare, now if you rewrite 
this inequality, what do you get? You got e to the power of 2x minus 2e to the power of x minus 5 over e to the power x into 1 minus e to the power of x is smaller than 1 over e to the power of x. Now, if you compare this and this, it's exactly the same. You are replacing x with e to the power of x. Hence, all right, from e to the power of x must take on this solution as well. Oh, this should be a minus here. I think I, I made another mistake here. This should be a minus, all right? And e to the power x is between 0 and 1. And e to the power x is greater than or equals to 3. Now, how to solve for values of x? We can always uh, use a graph to help us. So your e to the power x graph is something like this. Alright, it intersect the y axis at 1 and assuming this is 3. Now, e to the power of x is greater than 3. This value here is ln 3. Alright? So, you have value of x will be x must be greater than or equals to ln 3. Now, you want e to the power of x is greater, greater than 0 but smaller than 1. So x must take solutions here, this portion. Alright, so the other one will be x is less than 0. How about this? x is less than minus 2. For this, we have no solutions for this. Alright, so your answer for part 1 will be this. Okay, any question? Now let's do, let's move on to part 2 of question 2. Now you are asked to solve this inequality. x squared minus 2 modulus x minus 5 over mod x, I'm just simply copying. Now, you realize that x square is equals to modulus x square. So we can rewrite this equation by replacing x square with mod x square. So here will be mod x minus mod x square is less than 1 over mod x. Now if you compare this with this all right. Now, of course, I can factorize this mod x out. So, so the denominator will be mod x into 1 minus mod x. So it looks very similar to this. All right. Hence, all right, we can write all right, from here. All right, it must take on this in, uh, uh, inequality as, as well. So x will be, mod x will be, less than minus 2 mod x is between 
0 and 1 and mod x is greater than 3. Now if you look at this solution mod x less than minus 2 now mod modulus x is always greater than 0 so here we have no solution. Now, how about this? Mod x is between 0 and 1. So you will have mod x seems to be be, uh, between, oh uh, sorry. So you have, uh, maybe I should write it over here. Yeah. So my x will be between minus 1 and 1. All right, but x, if you look at this, can take x take 0, x cannot take 0, because when x take 0, the, this expression here is undefined, or even here is also undefined. All right, you cannot have something divided by 0. So this will be uh, Right, and all right. So x that means x takes the values between minus and one and one, but not including zero. Now, how about this one? This one is just simply x greater than or equals to three. So what is your final solution? All right, your final solution would be these two comma and x greater than or equals to 3. This is your final answer. Okay, with that we come to the end of question 2. Let's now move on to question number 3.